everything is new again Walking with the permigrant head so high I'm back with you when all is right Shaking on the apple tree, ticking off the honeybees Watch them fly It's just like we never said goodbye Okay, I'm pretty sure that this is swamp number one. Looks like it fits the coordinates. It's about 3,000, just over 3,000 blocks from spawn. What is that? Something is up there. Oh, 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 I found a thing. Found a thing. Found a thing. There's a thing out here. Oh. This is just the first swamp I went to. The first of the coordinates, the 40, negative 40, uh, 45, negative 221. This is that swamp, and there's a thing out here. Certainly a thing out here. A thing I don't know how to get inside of. Um, aha! I must have to, to climb up here. Go away, slime. Aha! Aha, a book. Here we go. Here we go. Awesome. Then this is goes nowhere. Crafting table and a book. Um Private Journal of Larson Craft. One of five. Okay, so this is this is the right place. Day two I've arrived in Northern Swamp. That's to survive the night and have constructed a make makeshift home within the trees. Oh, thank you, Larson. Unfortunately I've seen no signs of ancient gaff nor any other signs of life. Well, not human life at least. The frontier is as inhospitable as the wildest tales make it seem. Monsters of every sort stalk the night, and I nearly died before I found a tree to climb. Yeah, I would say so. Tomorrow I shall travel south to the last possible location of ancient Gath. With luck, I shall find it. So I had a feeling that second one was where it was actually going to be. You know, but I decided to play along with it, mostly because... Oh, eight, stop getting slain. Dude, that's not cool. Gonna make you some armor or something when you get back. Tell you. So we have to go this way. Pretty much just straight south, I think. Yeah, it's gonna be. See the Z coordinates going up. That's kind of where we need to be heading. So somebody has gone totally out of their way to do this for me, and I am, I am loving it. <laughs> This is great. This is great. Now I'm going to get all kinds of people doing this all the time to me. Just being like, being like, look, I found a weird book, Neon. It has coordinates in it. We should go on an adventure. And I'll be like, all right, let me get my recording software out. Not that I mind that, really. I mean, I mean it's, it's fun. I like doing this stuff. But, you know. Oh, oh, ooh. Ooh, that was a uh, pro jump right there. Pro jump indeed. And it stopped raining. Excellent. No, nope, no. Nope. We're just going through the desert. False hope. So, let's see. We need to get about another 300 blocks this way to another swamp. And then uh, I'm sure we'll find some clues. There's a portal out here just sitting by itself. Somebody, somebody came out here by themselves to do this. And this is their portal. Oh wow, that's a nice structure. That's a really nice structure right there. That is really cool. Um, well, this is just the portal back home, I think, probably. So, let's... We need to go... About another 200... About another 150 blocks to get to the edge of the swamp. There's a sheep. Aw, sheep. Sheep, you can't be running into that stuff. It's bad, bad for you. Cactus is bad for sheeps. So let's hop up here, and we'll just kind of, kind of cut across the mountains here. Make sure to eat. You can already see my subscribers yelling at me to eat. Eat, Nihon, eat! Don't, don't starve to death, you fool! 
I do this all the time in my live streams. I won't eat and I'll be like starving and I'll have to remind me to eat. Makes me feel so dumb sometimes, I swear. But yeah, that's just who I am. I get too too distracted sometimes to notice my hunger bar. It's that old that old alpha mentality of of I don't need to eat, there's no hunger bar. Wait, they added a hunger bar? Oh crap, I'm starving. Ah, good old days. So I was thinking about doing a series where I would play through like all of the different versions of Minecraft. Starting from the, oh, I found a thing. But starting from the first one and then going to, like starting from Alpha 1, I bet I have to go that way. Just make sure I'm going to go this way. Just to make sure. But uh, I was going to do that where I started at, say, like the first, very first version and kind of went my way through the whole thing but aha uh -huh, yes yes there's a swamp and I should go I should just go into the swamp just to make sure he didn't leave me a clue anywhere in here that I wasn't supposed to find uh, I probably was probably supposed to find this later there's the bridge that looks really cool actually that looks really cool I like that this has to be so now I've kind of confirmed that it has to be somebody who's Got building, got a building mind that's at least similar to mine. So it's probably one of the other guys who primarily build on the server. I would guess, because there's quite a bit of hard work that went into this. I can tell. Um, is there another? I feel like there's another thing I'm supposed to find somewhere, and, and that would lead me to where I was supposed to go. Yeah, this is great. This is this is awesome. I got to go on a little adventure. It's, it's so much better than just building stairs all day. More people need to do this. I don't care if everyone does it on the server now. More people need to do this. I don't care. This is just awesome. Okay, so come up here and then come over here and then jump on over. And then we go back the way we came. Just want to make sure that there was no reason for me to be coming down here no clues no anything of that nature I'm a very thorough thorough map person when it comes to adventures and adventure maps I try to make sure I get everything that could be of importance and see that some of my ruins and minecrackers who play through know that I kept all the all the shinies and put them in a big museum at the end of the map or at the last intersection. That's pretty cool. I like doing that. So we gotta go this way. I'm sure the torches are kind of my my clue to go this way. Torches are torches are like universal sign for hey this way stupid. Okay, so come in here and the chest with the book and quill. So our adventure I'm sure continues with Mr. Larson Craft. Yes, twenty six pages. Oh my goodness. How much time have I spent? Ah, I can I can afford it. I arrived at the southern swamp. I may I believe this may be what I've been searching for all this time. There are a handful of torches atop stone cliffs here. I climbed the southern cliff and found the broken road. This must be the bridge of Venture Interfuge. According to the legend of the swamp giant, after the fall of the Kingdom of Man, Ventrian and a small band of others escaped. They went to live in the mountains nearby, which offered good soil for agriculture. They believed they could rebuild the kingdom of man and finally end the giants, the swamp giant. But while wandering along the mountains, Ventrin was said to, have, said to have gone mad. Believing he alone knew the secrets of mankind returns, he enslaved the other survivors. Okay, I'll start over. But while wandering, uh, but while wandering among the mountains, Ventrin was said to have gone mad. Believing he alone knew the secrets of mankind returns. He enslaved the other survivors, forcing them to construct a road from the swamp, giant swamp to his refuge. The slaves built a bridge to travel over the valley between two mountains. Then, Mentrian forced his slaves to hollow out a nearby mountain and rebuild his throne room more glorious than before. And they did. But I see now that the bridge has collapsed. This way is impassable. I shall have to climb back down, then up the northern cliff. Ah, uh, and I better hurry. Night is nearly here. Day four. 
Around midnight last night, I finally made it to the top of the northern cliff. God, jeez, it took you forever, dude. It didn't take me that long. <laughs> I could see the ruined bridge much more clearly from there. I considered building a temporary structure to protect myself, but I had no pickaxe. You see, though the mountains of this valley were once lush with vegetation, though you see, the mountains of this valley were once lush with vegetation and made of the finest soils in the world. When the swamp giant learned of Mentrian's survival, he cursed the ground on which Mentrian walked. The earth around Mentrian's refuge turned to stone. At this, the already crazed Mentrian became yet more insane. And there's a zombie. He ordered his slaves to attack the swamp giant with whatever they had at hand. Rocks, snowballs, dirt, and the like. Most of his slaves were slaughtered. Others escaped to the east. They may have been our ancestors, the ones who built Spawn. But there's neither record nor legend of them. Mentrian was alone. After walking along the road to what must be Re Mentrian's refuge, I took shelter in a cavern with some torches nearby. Today, I return to the bridge to continue exploring and seek any further proof of Mentrian's escape. Day 5. After sheltering again in the cavern I discovered two nights ago, I decided to continue to the west along the road. I found no more evidence to assist me in my search last night. But today, I have discovered Mentrian's gardens. The legends are true. Being alone, Mentrian knew he would not survive long. So, as a last act of defiance, he walked to the near edge of the bridge and cursed the swamp giant. The swamp giant, weighed down by time and sorrow, cursed Mentrian in return and sent a wave coursing through the valley. I myself have seen the vines growing from the southern cliff and from the re remains of the stairs. I know this much is true. Mentrian refu returned to his refuge, but instead of surrendering to fate, decided upon one final act of defiance of the swamp giant's will. Mentrian built tools to hew the stone and nurture the soil that still, to some extent, remained beneath it. He built a pool, and around the pool he raised up a garden. There, in that garden, he went to be among his ancestors who had gone before. And here, in a very garden, I now stand, which can mean only one thing. As I suspected, Mentrian's refuge is at the top of these stairs. I have seen the throne made of gold and of redstone and finest wood, the carpet on the floor, the seats for his subjects. Never did I dream I'd actually live to see the world of legend come to life. I must return at once to Spawn and tell everyone of my adventures, and tell them of the, <laughs> of the truth about the origins of Kathland. Day 18. I've been able to write for many days. I walked to the cliff's edge, but something kept calling me back. I knew it was the swamp giant, but where could he be? Why wouldn't he be, be calling me? Why wouldn't he save me? I have no more food. My rations have run out. I am locked in entry and refuge against the monsters of the night. They come to the door and look inside. I must hide in the closet. I hide in the closet. They can't see me. I am here. I am safe. I ventured out into the swamp. I ventured out. I saw ancient cities that were destroyed by the swamp giant on the cliffs. I saw the swamp giant's dead body. He called me to join him. I fled. Back to Mentrian's refuge, back to the safety of the cave, of the closet, back to my safe haven. I will be safe here. With The garden will save me. I will be safe here. Dun, dun, dun. That's insane. So this must be the gardens. Yeah, it looks really pretty. Is there any, uh, I wonder if there's any little surprises around here. Any chest or anything hidden? Nope. Kinda, I would probably kind of do that. If it were me, I would hide stuff all over the place. So you can tell it's not me because there's no hidden chests in like the water or stuff. So if I come up here, oh, that is a big ass throne. <laughs> That's a big throne. Ah. Oh wow. Ah, uh, my boots broke, but I am the king now. I am the king of no boots, Topia. Fear me. Ha ha ha. Alright, so. I seem to have found everything. Nice and safe. There's no traps. There's a door here. I'm kind of wondering. There's no sign either. I don't know... Where do I, where do I go next? There's got to be a, uh, a sign or something. Do I have to break the blocks to get the sign? I don't have, I don't think I have the right tools to do that. Do I? I mean, I just have my stone picks. 
Oh, yeah, that'll work. Any, uh... Any signs around here that kind of give me an idea of... Who's responsible? Do I have to... Go back here? Hmm. Normally these things would end with some kind of sign or... Oh, no, that's the wrong kind. I'm defacing the defiling the, the, the hidden temple. He said he had a cave around here, too. I wonder if I should go find the, try to find the cave that he had been living in. Huh. No signs, no nothing. Somebody, somebody has sent me out of an adventure, and I don't know who it is. Which is always kind of weird. Maybe there's a... A thing in here. Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go back and get a... I'm gonna go back through that portal and get an iron pick. Oh, hi! Hi! Monsters of Night, go away! No! Skeleton armies coming to kill me! Ah! I must escape. I must escape back to... Uh, Back to where I can get an iron pick at, so one moment. So, uh... So... So after about 20 minutes of hard searching and looking, and investigating around here, I haven't been able to find any clues as to if I'm supposed to go somewhere else, or if this is the end, or who's responsible for the adventure. It's daytime out now, finally. Yep. Okay, so Creepy Crawly's gonna do the thing where they go die now. But, yeah, this is a... Uh, an interesting mystery. I don't know who is responsible for it, but I'm sure we'll find out soon. Somebody will either comment and fess up, or I will do some investigating on my own, and we'll figure it out. But I will have to let you know next time, because we are all done for this episode of Nihon Tiger on Neocraft. I don't know if I'm going to split this into one episode or two because just of the nature of this journey took, taking so long. Um, it's nice out here though. Very nice. But yep, as always, thanks for watching guys. Good luck, good mining, have fun. I will see you guys next time when we have the identity of the adventure map maker person and probably go back to working a little bit on Katsugar getting the stairs set up so we can start to build those upper levels for our library, our enchant our pushing room and our bedroom. Those are the big three things that are gonna go in there. So yep, take care and I'll see you guys next time.